in today's tutorial we are going to see how to create an amazing video a birthday video with your kids still pictures of birthday of your near and dear ones using a very easy to use a video editing software which is Mubabi and I'm going to give you all those small small tips and tactics which you can implement in order to create such a beautiful effect. Hi, this is follow me and welcome to Wagpa Media. So having said that, let us straight head over to our Mubabi home screen. When you open Mubabi home screen, this is what opens up in front of you. And these are the clips which I have uploaded from my own um, computer or hardware. So you are supposed to go to this first icon where you will find fi uh, file import. So you need to go for add file and you can choose the files wherever it is available and just click and open. So once you open it, the all the clips will be coming in media bit. So first things first, uh, in order to create this effect which I have just shown you, what I'll do is I will take these background videos first. I'll take this one, don't change. I will take this one as well. This one. And I have taken four for the sake of this video. I'm not taking four, so let it be three because two videos I have taken and one. This is a steel picture. So I'm going to give that movement to all these three. So first thing is, first thing is I'm going to select all these three and I'm going to come here and select the duration, right? But the problem is here it will take uh, the duration of the steel picture. So therefore you need to uh, understand how long you want to keep each clips. So if I see this is 8.1, uh, 8.50 seconds. So I will keep this also as 8.50 seconds in order to make it match it. You just need to bring it on the above track and need to match it and then get it back. Same way I will take it to the above track, just drag and match the clips. This is the first thing. So I would be taking, but this problem can be solved if you're taking all three uh, steel pictures. I'll just show you, demonstrate you how does it happen. Um, let me just uncheck this and I will be unchecking means this is delinking meaning um, if it is open then if I even keep it here it will stick to the previous clip but as soon as I am delinking it I can keep it anywhere in this video track. So I am delinking it and I will just drag it here three still pictures suppose I take this one okay now just to uh, how to change these three all these three uh, steel pictures duration i will just select all these three i will go to this uh, three dots here uh, clip properties option and from here i can change this suppose i want it to be 8.010 seconds so all these will be Im implemented to all the all three selected clips right so this is how you can uh, actually do it but it is only possible when all these three are having the same format that is uh, ppng format right here it is a mixture of mp4 which is uh, video format and this is in png format that's why i love to do it separately manually so i've already done now next thing is how to get this blur effect right so um let me get back to my dashboard and let me come here right after coming here in the second icon i will have to go to blur and i'll have to take intense blur here same way i will have to select all these three i'll have to right click and apply to select clips so all these clips will be having the blur effect you can see this this one as well and this one so all my three backgrounds are blurred now next is giving a zoom effect to do that i will have to select each one of it go to this fourth bottom icon where it will it will seem to be like so all choose option right so there are two options one is video editing one is audio editing we are right now working with video editing option so i'll go to this tiny uh, arrow and i will drop it down and i will go to pan and zoom now you see here also in this box you will get all a video editing tools readily available as well so i can also choose from here right once it is done 
then I will just come bring this zoom in effect here on this clip. Just drag and drop. That's it. Now these small beads are called keyframe, right? If I right click on any one of it, you will find this word keyframe. So these are basically keyframes. Now if I select this, I will have to first bring the first keyframe at the beginning of the clip, right? At the beginning right and then i will have to choose the entire box right you see this dotted lines around so this is the uh, box which would be selected and then i will have to come to the next keyframe it will become it will turn red from blue and i'll have to drag it all the way to the end and then i'll have to again click it in order to get the proper selection now i can just drag it uh, drag both the sides in order to give it a beautiful zoom effect now if you want to make it little more uh, more speedy or little more intense then you can simply uh, keep it at the middle you can right click on it and you will go to pan and zoom and you will have to add keyframe not on the keyframe but you will have to just click on this clip once you have added you will have to drag it all the way to the end now you'll have to keep one one keyframe at the middle and one keyframe at the end now selecting this you can even make it more smaller in order to give it a beautiful effect zoom in effect right or speedy effect when i will show it to you you will understand so just make sure this cross line appears which cross grid breed appears which gives you an uh, idea that uh, your frame is at the middle right so i'm done with my first clip Similarly, I will drag and drop these uh, zoom in effect to the next two clips as well. And I will simply drag the first keyframe at the beginning, click on it and select it by default takes the entire frame. So I don't have to really bother about it. And then I'll have to drag the second keyframe like so. And I can make it this way as much I want here. And if you want, you can add the third keyframe as well for the sake of this uh, video i'm not doing the same thing so i will do it this way i will simply drag for the third clip as well i will simply take this this has taken the full frame first keyframe and the last keyframe i will have to um, drag a little bit and then i'll have to make sure it is at the middle right so once it is done now let us let me show you how is it looking so far i will go to this three dots and unpin player it will kind of unpin the my player and i'll make it enlarged and now i will show you how is it looking this is just the background right so this is the first clip then comes the next clip and finally this is the video clip and then finally it is the third steel image which we have used for the background right so this is how it is looking once this is done then this is time when i will be bringing the front layer the back layer is already done this is all we need to do for the black back layers now what i'll do is i will simply drag one by one these three clips steel clips again i will come here i will drag this here also i am taking one mp for one video and two steel pictures so that you understand how to do it okay so i will have to simply match this and then again i will go and i will take another one like so and i'll have to simply match this right so once it is done then i'll have to click on these videos and i'll have to go to these four buttons and i'll have to go to overlay in order to bring this effect photo in photo effect i'll have to go to overlay section from all tools and i'll have to go to this photo in uh, picture in picture option that will make it smaller and then it is my um, discretion how much i want to enlarge it so um, just make sure that again those two grid lines matches so let me just check yeah so here it is a middle so i will quickly do the same thing for this as well i will bring it at the middle i will just exchange these two to give it a better meaning because yeah so i will come here and i will go to overlay select this overlay and picture in picture overlay i'll have to choose drag both the sides 
in order to bring it at the middle okay so now it is the grids are matching so this is at the middle and for this one this is already middle now next next is how to give this a uh, beautiful sh uh, shadow kind of a thing which gives it a 3d effect you see at the edges there is a uh, kind of a white uh, blurry uh, 3d shadow so how do i do that in order to bring that i need to just select all these three clips right by dragging your mouse then you need to come to this uh, this option a uh, third uh, second option and from there you'll have to go to vintage in vintage you will have to select any of this i have used vintage 4 option you can choose any for your uh, for sake of your video but i have chosen this vintage 4 option so i will right click on it and apply to all selected so all selected my all selected videos will be getting this beautiful 3d uh, border or uh, vintage border right so this is done next is in between two uh, layers i am going to give a transition so that it looks more cinematic so for that what all i need to do is i need to go to this third, third option which is for animation here you can go to all uh, to get all these options but for the sake of these kind of videos uh, you know where it is um, kind of showing some actions or memories or you know this is a kind of uh, uh, event editing videos so for that i usually use either fade this is one either uh, wrap otherwise i use ripple these three give uh, a kind of uh, flashback kind of feel so i what all i need to do is i'll first go to ripple and i will check this smooth ripple effect here just drag and drop if you want to change the timing you can right click and go to transition propor proportion and you can change the timing here if you want and if you want the same timing to remain for all these three for any um, any animation then you need to check this box as well and then do okay right so this is one uh, one transition i have chosen next i will go to this fade transition and i will take this cross fade effect for the next one again i will right click transition select to all and three and okay so i have taken these two transitions if i have i would have had the third um, in a fourth slide i would have taken another one so but for the time being i'm using these two you i also often use this transition twist it looks amazing okay so let me show you how is it looking now okay so this is my first clip see this is how it is beautifully you know kind of rippling out and you know giving it a beautiful uh, dimension and this is fading away and this is my final clip right but there is a problem this clip suddenly stops right there is no fade out so what i need to do is i need to select this i need to come here to this three dots and i need to give a 50 seconds of one uh, 0 0.50 seconds of one second of fade out same fade out effect you'll have to give to the background otherwise background will remain there and big background you can keep for 50 seconds so that it goes off later and here uh, if you want you can give a slight fade in 50 seconds fade in and here also a 50 seconds fade in uh, it's, it should be fade in effect here 50 seconds and this one same way okay so one thing is missing which is audio so how do we get audio first is you can come here and from here you can go to music here already you have got many music you can add also download more from their own uh, from Mubabi's own store you will get different types of music you can purchase them uh, and it, you can download it right so i'm not, not going to do that i have you can use any of these which comes uh, by default with the package but there might be copyright issues so i preferably don't do that you can go to the sound option and you get different type of sounds or as well if you want to give some of them uh simply drag and drop it here so the third option is the same way you can go to add files 
and you can take any of your downloaded music which I preferably do. So I have already taken one music here and I will simply drag and drop it to the music timeline. Right, this is for the audio. Now, I, I should be keeping the audio on till uh, a little longer than my videos, right? Why so? Because I want to give it a fade out effect as well, right? So how do I do that? This small line you are seeing, there are two options by which you can do it. You can double click and you can simply give a fade in and a fade out effect from here. This is one option. Second, if you want to use this line and you want to give it uh, from here, then you have to keep right click add a volume point you need to just select this right click and add a volume point now this point should match with your uh, video and then the rest part you can just slightly wear it downwards so that it fades out like so so these are the two ways by which you can fade out by one by giving a volume point and setting it up accordingly otherwise you can simply double click and do it from here right so this this is the thing now i want to uh, i want my transition happen uh, transition to occur when there is a beat static in order to do that in order to give it a more dimensional cinematic effect i need to just select this uh, music uh, uh, this audio track and i need to go to this all tools option now this is time when i should be minimizing it and enlarging this audio audio uh, editing option and from here i'll go to beat detection and detect audio beats now this will let uh, beats come in so i can change the beats as per my needs like if i want more beats to come in then i can take this scroller and i can change it as my need and then i can simply match these uh, audios according to my need and it should it should stop at a bit right so just select it and match it with the beat right so my transitions should happen along with the bit now let us see how is it looking i will go to these three dots and unpin the player I will just minimize it a little bit so that I will just make you uh, listen to this. So, fade it out, right? So, this is how you can make a beautiful, create a beautiful uh, birthday video with still pictures or with beautiful background videos. You can download these such videos, free videos from uh, Pixaway uh, or Pixels. Uh, these two softwares I definitely I, I, I so recommend uh, for free downloads uh, many videos many assets are there so once it is done once you're satisfied with it you just need to go to expert you need to give this uh, a name here and need to select browse the right folder here and then definitely select how it is by default it still gets select uh, this boot remains selected so make sure you have taken the quality as high and then simply start downloading it's as simple as that so thank you so very much for staying here with me if you like my video do let me know in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're a new visitor and uh, backpay media one small announcement backpay media has come up with a wonderful app educational app where you could be learning you can learn video editing graphic designing and digital marketing and e-commerce just download the app there are already two courses available where we are providing um, an early bird offer so please do download it it's a free app very lightweight app please do download it in your mobile if you're an android user you'll get it in google play store so thank you so very much having said that this is follow me signing up for today i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe